it's me, Gemma, and I obviously like sweet food, otherwise I wouldn't keep telling you how to make it. But there's one thing I like more than sweet food, and that is salty and sweet together, like peanut butter and jam, or candied bacon. Um, and I'm gonna show you my recipe for the ultimate hero of salty and sweet, and that is salted caramel. You might not have made it before because it gets really hot and might be a bit scary, but there's nothing to worry about. I'm gonna help you along. So there's a couple of things I do before I start. Um, because salted caramel gets really hot when you make it, I like to have a tea towel on my table ready to go so that when I stir my caramel at the end, it doesn't like slide around the table. And also it protects my flatmate's table from getting done. Um, and also what we do at the end is we pour cream in with some vanilla, but I'm gonna add the vanilla now so that I don't have to faff around later. So I'm just gonna put about a teaspoon in. So now that's all ready to go and to pour in at the very end, I'm gonna get on with making the caramel. So I've got six tablespoons of water, just regular old water. And then I've got one cup of caster sugar. And then I'm just gonna give that a little stir, nothing too major, just a little stir to get the sugar and the water mixed together. And then I'm gonna take it to the hob. And that just needs to go on a medium heat for about six to eight minutes. And it's really important not to stir it anymore because that can make the sugar crystallize. So gradually the sugar will start to dissolve and mix with the water. And then as it gets hotter and hotter, the water will start to evaporate. Now you can see that the sugar is starting to brown very slightly, and now we just need to get it to a really nice deep amber colour. Okay, it's starting to do its thing and it's smelling really good right now. I just want to get a little bit further. Right, it's optimum colouring. And I'm just gonna pour that cream and it's gonna go very steamy, so watch out. Woo! So keep it really steady, it's a nice steady stream. Don't dump it all in, but don't do it, do it too slowly either. You can see how hot it is, so be careful of splattering. So just stir it until it stops bubbling. Okay, so I've made my basic caramel, now I just need to make it salty, and I'm gonna use sea salt for that. Um, I don't like using table salt, it doesn't have quite the right flavour. And I'm going to put about a heaped teaspoon in. And I'm going to, because it's quite grainy sea salt, I'm going to just squish it up a bit between my fingers before I sprinkle it. So while it's still hot, and it is really, really hot still, so don't be tempted to stick your finger in it to taste it just yet, give it a really, really good stir so that all the salt is completely dissolved. And then you just need to wait for it to cool down before you eat it. So I'm gonna put mine in a jar and pop it to one side for later. Right, there it is, my delicious salted caramel. Four ingredients, eight minutes, and it's packed with flavor. And that is gonna make almost anything taste better. I like pouring it on ice cream. Sometimes I fill my cupcakes with it. I make frosting with it. Um, you could even pour it all over a boring store-bought dessert to jazz it up a bit. It's really, really delicious. If you like that video and you want to see more videos by me, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on that link up there. And I'll be back next week with another brilliant recipe for you guys. And until then, my spoon, my jar of salted caramel, and I have an appointment with some ice cream.